Well, hello everybody. It is Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I work alongside Maggie and Lauren. And today I want to show you this beautiful beanie. I um, love this pattern. It's a very nice, easy stitch, especially for beginners learning how to crochet. The rim is only slip stitching. That is the best stitch to do for a stretchy for for a stretchy material that you would like, you know, for hats. It's the stitch that makes it be able to stretch a little bit. I made this one a little bigger than what I thought it would turn out to be, so I'm going to when I do the directions, I'm going to recommend that you take a an inch or so off of the rim. But here it is. It's very pretty. I chose to put a big, nice, fluffy pom-pom. But this would look beautiful even without the pom-pom on it. If I can find my... I don't know if I can find it for you. There it is. it is without the, the pom-pom but you can choose to do it with or without the pom-pom but I want to talk about the yarn that's like the most important thing that I want to talk to you about because from everything that I can understand and read that this yarn is being discontinued so Maggie and I kind of stockpiled on it but it's red um, red heart it's called heat wave and it adds like 12 degrees to what it is outside for, for warmth. So people have made, you can make um, dog coats with it. You can make scarves. You can make gloves. You can make hats. Anything that you want, like warmers. But I think this is being discontinued. I'm very sorry to say. But this color is called Radio. The yardage that you get with it is not a whole lot. You get 198 yards. This hat needs about 220 yards. So you would definitely need more than one of these. But again, if you're looking for it, uh, your best route to find it, if anybody would have it, would be Amazon. But I will be doing more projects with this, but not for now. Now for this project, I do recommend a five millimeter hook and your yarn uh, if you're not going to use the heat wave which you don't have to I would just recommend the worsted weight yarn of four okay so to do the brim on this let's see if I can get you coming in closer because I'm going to show you something you start with your slip knot okay now I just want you to chain seven, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what I'm gonna recommend is the slip stitch for the brim because it, it makes it very springy, very, it, it can hug you. I know what word I'm looking for, but I can't think of it. Anyway, so you take your hook and you slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. You grab your yarn, you bring it out, and you go right through. And I want you to do that in every chain. Very, very loose. Because the trick to this, if you keep it very tight when you turn to do the next row, you're going to struggle. When you get down to your, oh, I think I did that last one wrong. There we go. When you got your six, chain one and turn. 
All right. Now remember, you're only doing the back loops after you turn. So you can see your full chain, the, the top and the bottom. You always slip stitch in to the one that's farther away from you. Getting started on this is always the hardest part, finding where to hold and all that good stuff. Five, and always make sure your counts are correct because it is very easy to drop a stitch. Chain one and you turn. And it's just constant slip stitching until you get to your desired length. I'm gonna recommend for the average head like 17 to 17 and a half inches. But make sure when you do it, it's not stretched, not 17 inches stretched. That'd be 17, 17 and a half inches, not stretched. Now, if you are a larger person or if this is even for a gentleman, I, I absolutely would recommend the 19 inches, but not for the average uh, female. And this is all you do. But I really want to stress the key to this is loose tension. Just like that. one and turn and you just keep on keep on going this is a really easy part to do where you're chatting with somebody or you're watching a TV show because this is truly the whole pattern is not hard it just takes a little time I've always struggled on my ends, but that's me. And chain one, and you turn. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And chain one. And once you get a couple rows done, you'll find out. Once you can actually hold the project in your fingers, it goes a little faster for you. Doing a slip stitch brim really it looks nice and it hugs your face so so pretty so nice you know on those windy days when you have a hat on you won't have to worry about it blowing off or rainy days or Just a chilly day. Right, I'm gonna just do a couple more rows just to make sure you guys are in a good spot with this part of the hat.
All right, I will be back in a couple minutes. I'm not gonna do the full, but I wanna get a little bit of a row going so you can see how we do our next step. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, now you keep going until you, you reach your 17 to 17 and a half inches. But I'm only doing a small, tiny sample here. Now, I always leave my tails long enough, but if you don't, don't stress. You just need a, a small piece of your color yarn that you're using. Do not cut this off, though, okay? So what you're going to do... I'm not I'm gonna just show you. You take your two ends and take it out just a little. You bring them up together like this. Now, if you didn't leave a long enough tail, you can just cut a piece of thread or yarn. You're gonna take the loop closer to you and you'll be taking the loop farther away from you up here. So what you'll do is you'll go under that loop with your darning needle and you go over the one farther away from you and then you pull it and then you keep doing that farther away I mean closer to you farther away and then you'll keep doing that all the way up and just count make sure you got your full six in there like that Okay, and after you have it, when you turn it, your seam will be very pretty. Okay, so it's uh, it's almost like just a whip stitch kind of thing. Okay, so so remember before you whip stitch it, you get to your desired length that you want. When you get your desired length, do not cut your yarn because you're still going to be using it. And then you whip stitch it shut. And then I want you to turn it right, the right side out. You, the stitching side, you don't want to see. Okay. And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to put half double I want you to chain one like that and I want you to put half double crochets all the way around your brim and try to be as neat and try to stay as close to the top as you can but I need you to put half double crochets all the way around and I need you to have 90 in, that, in there. So what I do when I'm crocheting and I need a specific number, I take, here I'll show you. I take my, my brim and I lay it down, top and bottom, and then I take a stitch marker and I just mark halfway so I know, okay, I need to have 45 stitches up to here then from here to here, I need 45 more stitches. And if you need it even a little more, you can take those halves and you can divide them into quarters and then split the 45, what would be 22 and a 23. That helps, believe it or not, that little trick does help. But I need a total of 90 half double crochets going all the way around your brim. And if you see, can see what I'm doing, I'm not going that far down because you really don't want to. All right. So. Once you got all your half double crochets, once you're back around, 
I want you to slip stitch. Slip stitching is you just take your needle, your hook, you go through both, you grab the yarn, come back, out, you go through and through. That's it. So once you slip stitch to your first stitch, I want you to chain one and turn your project. Now what we're going to do is called the bean stitch, the mini bean. So what you do, is you take your hook, and you go into your first stitch right here. You go in and grab yarn, come on out and come on up. You wrap your hook and you go in there one more time. You bring your yarn up. You have four loops on your hook. You wrap your hook and you go through all four. And then chain one. That's our bean stitch. So skip one. You go to the next. You have two. You wrap your hook. You go in. Grab it. Come on back up. You have four loops. You wrap. And you go through all of them. And you chain one. You skip one stitch. You go to the next. You go in the stitch. You grab yarn. Come on up. Wrap it, go back in, grab more yarn and come on back up. You wrap your hook, go through, and chain one. Skip one, and you do it again. Pretty neat stitch, isn't it? that's it. So when you go all the way around your hat, you will have 45 bean stitches. Okay? They're pretty, pretty cute. See them? So when you get to the end, you slip stitch like I showed you into the top of your chain, first one. And then I want you to chain one and turn. And then I want you to do... 16 more rows of those, but what you're going to do, just so you know, for the second row, see your bean? I want you to go in, you, your beans are going to be staggered. So after you chain one, you go into your first chain one here, and then you do a bean. Chain one, and then you go into your next chain one space. Do a bean. And chain one. And go in here. Chain one. Skip one and you go into your chain one. And your bean. Chain one. So after these two rows, I want you to do 16 more rows. Okay. And now would be a perfect time to pause me. After you get those 16 rows done, come on back and see me. And what we're going to do is we're going to start decreasing. So decrease. What, we're, what you're going to do, I want you to do six beans. So, so in your first one, you do your bean. Chain one. You do another bean and so forth. And you do six of them. Total of six. After your sixth one, you're going to do a two bean together. And what that is, is you take your hook, you go into your first, grab the yarn, come on up, just like you're making a bean. You got four loops, but you don't stop there. Then you go into your next one and you do the same thing. And if I count right, three, four, you got seven loops on your hook. And go through all of them and chain. That is a two bean together. So I'm going to show you again how to do it. But then after this one, you would do six more regular beans. Then we'll do another bean together. So 
you go in here you act like you're doing a regular bean you have four loops don't wrap yet then you go into your next spot and you do it again one and two seven loops and then you wrap and you go through all your bean your hooks your loops I can't talk today and that is your two bean together so you will do six of two together bean six two together bean six and two together bean and that's what you're gonna do for this row when you get to the end you slip stitch into the top of your next bean that you already did so we're gonna do that for a decrease row then the next row will be you do five beans and two together five beans and two together I think you're seeing where this is going then your next row you will do four beans and two together four beans two together and you keep going around after you slip stitch to your top then you'll be doing three beans two together three beans two together and go all the way around then you will be doing two beans then two together two beans two together two beans two together and then you'll do one bean two together one bean two together one bean two and all the way around and as you'll see your hat will just slowly start coming in close but then the magic is your very last row everyone is a two together okay so right here so everyone will be a two together so here's my first bean and here's my next one and I go through all of them and chain one then I go right into my next one and do another together and so forth and then you will end with a very you have a tiny little opening at the top okay but what I did so after you got that in stitch one and cut a nice little length of yarn and then you'll take your darning needle with your yarn at the top of your hat make sure you turn your hat inside out right the bad side out you hook it and then what you'll do is you'll go in and out you'll weave in and out of your stitches all the way around like that you can see that it's the weaving and just keep weaving all the way around the entire circle once you meet up you pull it and it will close your hole and then you just have to weave in your ends which I've done videos on and it's your choice if you want to do a hat uh, a pom-pom on your hat or not but what I do is I sew in a little button right here and then what I do is I take my crochet hook and I go through the center of my hat I grab grab the hook and you bring it through and then you wrap it around the button the point of the button is for when you need to wash your hats the pom-poms really shouldn't go through the washer it can really mess them up but then there's your hat I do have a tutorial on the buttons but if you guys need to see another one please 
message us. Come follow us on Facebook under Whip and Chain. And if you have any questions or need help on anything, I can do some live videos or I can do a separate video for you. Whatever works the best for you is what I'll be more than happy to do. So that's all for today. If you liked our video, can you please hit that like button and that subscribe button and come find us on Facebook under WIP WIP for work in progress and chain. And we'd look forward to seeing you guys. Bye for now.